How's it going YouTube? Isaac Perez here once again with another vape trick tutorial. But before we get into that, if you want to go ahead and give my personal Instagram a follow, I'll put it up right here. And if you want to give the official VGOD Instagram a follow, I'll put it up right here. Like always, VGOD Pro Mech with the Trick Tank Pro, Cubano. Oh, and the OG VGOD shirt. Alrighty, now that that's out of the way, let's jump right into it. The trick I'll be teaching you guys today, or I should say the tricks I'll be teaching you guys today, is one, the shark split, and two, the triple shark split. And I just want to give a big shout out to my homie Avery, also known as Solid Ohms. He showed me this trick a while back, and ever since it's been one of my favorites. And I know I always say that, but that's the only reason why I do tutorials on them. Bane, lasso, shark split, head push next. So what is a shark split? A shark split is when you take an O, right? And then you're gonna inhale one of the corners and you're gonna stretch the O out by pulling it across. And as you pull it, the middle is gonna compress and it's gonna split off like that. To me, it's a combination of a shark bend and a head split. And what a shark bend is, is when you have an O and you inhale one side of it, and then it forms a smaller O and then it shoots across your face. And what a head split is, is when you push out an O and you put your forehead on top of it and then you follow the O all the way around until it splits. And that's what a shark split is to me. So what you'll have to figure out first is which way is more comfortable for you to whip your head around. Me personally, I like to whip to the right hand side. Some people can do both ways. I can't, but yes, I go to the right. So if you're like me and you whip to the right, you're gonna want to grab the opposite corner of the way that you're splitting. So for me, for example, I would grab at either around 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. And for people that whip to the left, you would just grab the opposite side, which would be your one to two o'clock. And I'm just gonna be giving the explanation on the way that I split to because if I try to do both, I might get really confused and it won't be good. So the size of the O actually does matter with this trick because if you have too big of an O, like how I have made mine, then it's gonna be really hard and you're gonna have to inhale a lot harder and you're gonna have to whip a lot harder. But with a smaller slash medium size O, I would say that's probably where the, the sweet spot would be when doing a shark split. So after you've pushed out your O, you're gonna grab the opposite side of whatever way you're splitting and you're going to inhale. And I'm gonna get into the inhale part right now because this is probably the hardest part of the trick. So when you start the inhale, you wanna form your mouth as if you were sucking through a straw, just like a And when I inhale, I kind of pucker my lips out a little bit just because that gives me that much more separation between my actual face and the O. And all you do on the inhale is you start out slow. As soon as you grab the O, you're gonna start out slow. And by the time you get all the way around it, you wanna gradually increase your inhale. So it'll sound kinda like How hard you inhale just depends on how fast your O is traveling. So if your O is moving really fast, it's gonna be more of like a but if it's a lot slower, then you're just gonna have to slow your speed down and it's gonna sound a little more like So when I do it, I start the inhale about right here and by the time the O is already split, my head is probably all the way over here. So it's gonna be like a Bow. Even if the O's aren't splitting, but the O is spinning really fast, you're doing something right. And if, for example, they poof and they don't actually form an O, but they kind of poof out, you're also doing something right. It's just adding that extra little bit of pull. Yeah, guys, now that I'm explaining this, there's not really much to it. It's literally just an O, inhale, whip around, split. And one final tip before I get into the triple shark split, whenever I split my O, when I'm towards the end of it, when I want it to split, or I think it's gonna split, I open my mouth, kind of like a And since I'm done explaining the shark split, now let's get into the triple shark split. Triple shark split is basically the same thing, but what you're gonna wanna do with this triple shark split in order to make it split is you have to have an O that's moving fast and you have to extend that inhale for a lot longer. And so when I do it, I pretty much, I just picture stretching the O as far as possible. 
And when I do that, I just inhale. And then right when I get to the end, where right before it's about to split, I slightly turn my head to the left. And then, pow! So what I mean by extending that inhale, all I'm really doing is just making my lips a little bit tighter. So instead of like a, it's more of a, and the reason why I turn my face at the end of the split is so I can basically dodge that third O that's splitting off. Because if you do it normally, most of the time that O is gonna get broken by just your movement. Another thing that helps me with triple splits is to start your inhale when the O is at its most prime speed. So instead of whipping around the O, picture pulling the O and stretching it across. And to put into perspective on how this trick actually looks when it's being done, so you have your O, you're gonna start at about 10 o'clock, and then you're just gonna inhale, 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 and this is gonna stretch out. And as you're stretching it, three random O's are gonna be formed, and that's when you turn your face, and then they're all gonna split in different directions, and it looks so sick. And just like the shark split, try to keep your face as far away from the O as possible. Try to keep your face as far away from the O as possible. The only thing that's gonna to be touching the O is your lips. And like I said, pucker your lips out. But yeah guys, that's all I got for the triple shark split and the shark split. Uh, one other thing, you don't always have to start at either 10 o'clock or two o'clock. You could even experiment a little bit and start at 12 o'clock. Because when you start your inhale right there, for some reason, the bottom O that splits off is more of like a line drive, which makes it easier to combo off of. Just keep practicing, guys. Practice makes perfect. It took me a while to learn the shark split a while back, and it took me even longer to learn the triple shark split. All it is is just time and practice and just follow the techniques I showed you, and you should be able to get it. Once again, my name is Isaac Perez. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below on what tutorial you'd like to see next. I love you all, and I'm out. Peace.